Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoaster Stack Hunt 2. In this episode I will show you how to make uh, a smoke particle effect. Now I typically use this when I make a, when I make a volcano or when I put swamp goo somewhere. Um, they look so much cooler when there's uh, actually smoke coming from them. So how do we make uh, smoke come from them? What I typically do is uh, I start building a vertical drop coaster. I will now just uh, show you uh, right here. So I will just uh, build upwards, I'll make a few tiles for the station and we just uh, drop our coaster down. I'll make some track down just so the cars are uh, guided more guided down more accurately. And we make the entrance and the exit. Um, now if you, uh, we only need one train. Now if you want to run it now, it won't run because it's not a complete circuit. So we're gonna need to have use a cheat. Uh, we're gonna need to uh, unlock. Uh, we uh, show all operating mode. That's it. And we put it to a powered launch. Now it doesn't really matter at what speed you do. Um, and then we can simply launch it. And there we have it. Here's our uh, smoke particle effect. Now it will uh, stay here for as long as the ride is uh, crashed. Um, but so if you remove the ride or if you double close it, the smoke effects will uh, go away. So um, you probably want to get rid of this uh, track, but uh, you want the smoke effects to stay. So you could make every tile in invisible. Um, what I typically do is, well first, uh, here I start by simply removing the station. Just put it to no entrance. Then we allow arbitrary write-up changes in the cheat menu. And then we change it to a lift or a, let's do a crooked house, it doesn't really matter. And there we have it. Uh, it's just some uh, smoke effects that uh, remain. I typically uh, rename it. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit hard to click it. By the way, if you're trying to click uh, something that's that's uh, animated and moving, it's usually easiest to just pause the game. And then uh, you can click, simply click it. I would uh, rename it, say, calling it uh, smoke something. Alright, um, I will do the same now for the volcano and for the swamp goo, just to show you uh, what that uh, looks like. So, we just repeat the process. You can uh, add some uh, trains, but uh, you will usually want a longer station if you do that. So, let's uh, drop it down. Alright, I just want one train. Uh, I want longer trains, so if I want that, I'll have to disable vehicle limits. Then we can have a lot more cars per train. Uh, put it to powered launch. And we fire away. Alright, the cars scatter a little bit, so that also uh, distributes the smoke over these uh, different tiles. Now, let's change it to a lift, make the entrance and exit invisible. And you could rename it to smoke. Let's do the same in the volcano. Now, when doing it in the volcano, you'll really want to guide the trains into the volcano just to make sure that they uh, actually end up there because when they fall off the track they scatter a little bit and it looks silly if the smoke is actually on the side of the volcano and there we go we have smoke in, inside the volcano Now, if you want the smoke to start higher, you could uh, 
temporarily ra raise the ground or put some obstacles which the cars will collide with, then the smoke will be uh, higher. Because uh, if you put in the volcano, it might not be visible from all angles, uh, depending on which styles uh, the cars crash on. Anyway, um, that was uh, how to make a smoke particle effect without using a custom scenery for it. I hope this tutorial is useful for you and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later!